What's good, YouTube? I got a fire two way slash and playmaker for y'all. And y'all gonna have enough badges to score with, break ankles with, and you still gonna have Hall of Fame clamps. We're gonna get right into it though. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button and hit them post notice too. So we're gonna go small forward on this one. You wanna go six seven. Take your weight all the way down to minimum. And the wingspan, you actually gonna go seven one on that. So you get the Hall of Fame clamps. We're gonna go define and we're gonna jump right into the physicals. So max out your speed, acceleration. Your vert, you wanna put that up at 80. And the stamina, we're gonna put that up at 96. Your four fact, we good right there. And we really, we really gonna do some finessing on this build, but we're gonna jump into the playmaking first, bro. So max out your speed with ball. You got above 75 on that for most of the dribble packages. We're gonna go 83 on a ball handle. So you is getting gold tight handles. You got gold handles for days, gold space crater. And you can really crack ankles with these badges, bruh. Not even gonna hold you. You do not need these on Hall of Fame. You got the silver, the silver hyperdrive too. So you definitely wanna wanna put that on silver. Like I know I know some people don't really run with hyperdrive and don't run with quick chain and everything. You will wanna put hyperdrive on this build, bruh. So put that on silver and that pass act. We're gonna go for 92, bruh. So you see you getting the gold bullet passer right here. Keep going. You feel me? You got gold bailout, gold dimer. Really almost yeah, everything. Uh my fault. All your facilitating badges uh gold though. You got gold dribbling badges and we good right there with the 28 for sure. You actually with 28, that's really enough enough badges to put on like your bullet passer and still have the points for the tight handles, your quick first step, unpluckable and everything like that. But you could add a couple more badges on this one if you want to. We're going to put up the finishing real quick. Now we're going to hit the shooting. So you want to put your three ball up to 76. That's going to give you the silver dead eye. You really, I know some people might want to, you feel me, drop it down a little bit to save a couple badge points. But bro, you really want to put that right at 76. Because at 75, you see you get the silver stop and pop. And then at 76, you get the silver dead eye. You don't lose a badge if you go down to 75. So gotta let y'all know that. But silver dead eye is actually an important badge that you won't want to have on, bruh. Silver, bruh, exactly on silver. You feel me? That's when you really feel the boost and everything from it. But we're gonna put your midi all the way up. So you're getting 24 shooting badges on this build. You got gold blinders, gold high zone. And that's really pressure, bruh. <laughs> you feel me? We're gonna put the free throw on, put this up to 70. And you that de you definitely gonna wanna put on. I'm thinking catch and shoot is the only bronze badge. So really, y'all know how silver badges work, bruh. Most silver badges actually is good. You you notice the boost on most silver badges, I will say that. So it's not even like it's not even like you at a disadvantage with this build, bruh. Not even gonna lie. And I know a lot of people want slash and playmaker bruh you feel me that build name because bruh it's really one of the best builds you feel me over the span of you feel me all these years in 2k bruh not even gonna hold you the slash and playmaker the offensive threat bruh you feel me two of the most popular guard builds bruh not even gonna hold you but that's pretty much because yo slashing used to be so much more popular bruh not even gonna hold you but it's pretty much in a pie chart days, but with this build, you feel me? You still could saw stuff like that. You still could shoot on this build, and you still gonna have the contact dunks, bro. So we gonna put this up at 92. We gonna oh yeah, your vertical is already at 80, so you good right there. Having this at 92, that give you the gold posterizer, and you get a lot of dunk packages with this build too. I think it's another tomahawk package that you actually unlock, literally at 92. So. Well, all of the yeah, yeah, I know the Tomahawks is the best dunk packages in the game, bro. <laughs> you feel me? So with this 92, you gonna have all of the Tomahawk packages, and bro, you really you gotta put this uh, limitless takeoff up, put that on Hall of Fame, bro, and watch how them Tomahawk packages act, bro. Like you really gonna be jumping from stupid fire, bro, 
unlimited contact dunks and everything because you know when you when you take off and everything bro if you take off before the defender get in position and everything it's curtains bro <laughs> you feel me like it almost don't even matter which package you got on at that point because what you, you most people know bro when you defending a slasher once they start their animation bro it's it's almost over like only 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 thing you could do at that point bro once you see them in the animation like like you might get the block bro but you probably gonna end up following them bro you feel me and that's literally what's gonna be happening you feel me they they gonna see you take off from stupid fire and they just gonna let you go up if they uh if they do defend you you feel me you're going right to the free throw line but you still gonna make the dunk that's the thing about it <laughs> you feel me so if y'all need the dunk packages the best dunk packages bruh i got y'all on that i will put that in the description you feel me just let me know if y'all need that because i definitely did drop a video on all the packages letting y'all know what's the safest packages and what's the most flashy ones the most flashy fire ones though you feel me we're gonna put this up to 66 so you get silver fast twitch 21 finishing badges you got gold acrobat bro that's fire right there you real versatile bro not even gonna hold you because even if it's not a contact dunk you're still gonna be able to make the layup very important bro and really yo yo some people think that the acrobat badge is gonna make you uh it's, it's gonna make you dunk the ball less bro it's really not bro if, if you're using the uh the timing with the right stick and everything it's gonna have literally no effect at all but the thing about the acrobat badge is when, when you get thrown out of your dunk animation it it, it actually trigger bro like like by itself depending on which way you uh forcing the, the right stick and everything but it's actually it's actually used for when when you feel me you get thrown out of your animation it's not going just start an acrobat animation when you going up to the rack unless you got on one of those layout packages bro not even gonna hold you we're gonna put your perimeter up real quick you want to put this all the way up to 94 and hall of fame everything right there bro that's really fire you got hall of fame pig dodger and yo pig dodger actually it seemed like it's a difference in pig dodger now bro not even gonna hold you either pig dodger or brick wall so you will want to have pig dodger on at least gold if you guarding on ball, if you're not really guarding on ball like that, silver is doable, but you feel me, bro? I, I know for a fact you're going to want to have that on gold, bro. We're going to put the block ray in up. You want to max this out. And that's going to give you the gold intimidator. You got gold chase down, gold pickpocket, bro, silver rim protector. So you really got all the badges you need, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. You don't have like the rebound chaser. You don't have yeah bro you really just don't have the rebounding badges but at the same time you six seven with a seven one wingspan so you will be able to grab boards literally yeah bro you you really even even with the 25 rating bro you still can grab rebounds on this game and we're gonna get into the takeovers bro so you want to go with a slash and take on this one I probably would go with a slashing and a lock take, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. You really don't need a slash and take, though. I probably would go with a play take first, bro. Go to team takeover boost. So that that way you get in the squad to take over, and you actually get to speed with ball boost from that uh, from that takeover when you first pop it and everything. You don't need the extra slashing though. But if you want to throw the slashing on, you definitely can throw it on. We're going to put on perimeter badge drop. And you got a two-way slash and play. We're going to get into the badges real quick. Max that out. And for your finishing, bruh, Acrobat, I wouldn't say it's a badge that you just need. But you feel me? It will help. And hold on. We're going to put... The limitless takeoff on slithery if you put an acrobat on gold you're gonna want to put slithery on uh yeah, yeah, yeah you definitely gonna want to put slithery on gold that'll be perfectly fine right there bro and if you using the fast twitch you could pretty much just take these points down you feel me if you is using the fast twitch but you probably gonna want to have a putback boss on 
So I would say if you're going acrobat, go with this setup right here. Or you feel me? If you even want to stay Hall of Fame on that slithery, bro, I don't blame you. You feel me? You you don't need to, to keep Hall of Fame on that on that for the slithery though. I'm not gonna hold you. Yeah, blinders. We gonna go 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 high zone hunter. Go sniper, silver stop and pop. Catch and shoot bronze, bronze corner specialist. Dead eye and. I, th I thought the green machine was for three points. That's why we took the uh, the points from the sniper and everything. But you can just put that, up, that that back up on Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah, the lucky seven. You definitely need that on, too. So we go with this setup. And on to the playmaking. Bullet passer. Hyperdrive. Quick first step. You definitely could put on stop and go, but... I probably would say gold tight handles would be a little more a little more important. Handles for days. And bro, you wanna put on Hold on. Oh, oh yeah, the ankle breaker, bro. You definitely could throw an ankle breaker on silver. Yeah, yeah, for a fact. You go with this setup. And bro, we got unpluckable on our yeah, yeah, for a fact. You got that on. If you want to use the dimer too, not even gonna hold you. Your squad might need that, so you feel me? Silver dimer for two points. You really can't beat that, bro. And this way, you got really most, bro. Most of your badges is on silver, but most importantly, they they all equip. You feel me? Everything you need is equipped. If you want to put on the glue hands, you still got points for that and everything. If you want to take down the tight handles, you have enough points to put that on silver and. That'll really be fire. You feel me? You, you really don't need nothing on gold but the bullet passer. We're going to get on to the defensive badges. And with this one, if you add badges to the defensive area, you feel me? If, if you want to be more more locked down, bro, more straight two-way, you feel me? You could add some more defensive badges, but you really don't need to. You could, you could, you could just take off the pickpocket. I ain't going to hold you, but... At the same time, pickpocket is actually a good badge, bro. So with this build, you might want to go for a few more defensive badges and everything. Well, for a few more defensive badge points. Put on your ankle braces, intimidator, pig dodger. Chase down menace. I mean, chase down a hustler. You probably want to put menace on, though. So you want to add a point for menace, and if you put in pick dot pick, I was about to say pick dodger. If you put in pickpocket on, that's four points too. So you feel me? Depending on what you want to add, but there's really some heat, bro. Like I just put eight extra badges, now I put seven extra badges, bro, on my uh, on my six five and everything. So I got twenty six defensive badges on that, bro. Yo, I do not feel like I made a mistake, bro. <laughs> you feel me? Because what I pretty much did with my 6.5 is made a straight crazy offensive build, bro. With, you feel me? The gold perimeter badges, Hall of Fame, steel badges and everything. But since I didn't put no points into the rebounder, you feel me, for the extra badges. Because the game let us get extra badges, bro. You feel me? Just throw it on the build. So that's really the most fire thing to do because... It's really just not that easy to get that many defensive badges on your build, you feel me, this year. The way the builder is, because you got to go crazy on a rebounder to get extra badge points, bro. And that's really, you feel me, that's really how they balance the game, I ain't going to lie. But it's like, you feel, you feel me, that's pretty much just what you got to do, bro. Just go crazy on the offense, crazy on everything else but the defensive stats. And you feel me, just make sure you got your perimeter and your steel at the right point. But... 18 is really the most, bro. Yo, think about that, bro. We only getting 18 defensive badges when we got Hall of Fame clamps on, bro. Night Hall of Fame interceptor, bro. Are you feel me? <laughs> the builder definitely should have gave us more defensive badges than this, but again, you definitely can add those badges on. And I'm gonna hit y'all in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button. Be easy.